I'm feeling just like so many feelings right now. Yeah. I feel like so many feelings right now. Cause that is, I'm going to think about that a lot. Well, it's that is triggering. It's triggering. Yeah. Like when, when, whenever we, you know, we, we obviously start from the orientation that software can help address some of these issues is why we make software around it. But whenever you look at the core data, actually, when we first um, published the landmark feedback report last year of 25,000 people across 250 organizations. And we looked at the patterns that were there. Our VP of talent and DEIB, Jackie Clayton, said, hey, I almost feel like this report should come with a trigger warning because so many of us will read it and this experience we've had for so many years of feeling kind of gaslit, like, hey, was that? That person called me an overachiever. Did they did they mean something nice by that, or was there something else underneath it? Like you, we've heard from so many people that they felt seen in the data, and this year's report was was no different. And I've been in the space for a really long time. I started publishing about bias and performance reviews in 2014 before there was a Textio, um, and it's still strikes me every time we release new data about this, how much people feel both seen, validated, but also triggered by the patterns that are there because it really brings up a lot of trauma for people. Yeah. There are weeks where I end the week thinking, was that in my head? Is that in my head is like a game I often play. And it's really funny because my husband and I will have discussions about it and his perspective is so different from mine. And mm-hmm. I'll be like, well, you have that perspective because like you are a white man. And like, I, I have this perspective because I'm this. And like, there's a big gap between like what we're perceiving. And he's like, well, I don't think that was, that wasn't in your head. And I'm like, you can't say that because it's really a perspective I felt. And that's what led me honestly to y'all's um, data. Because I think I read one of your, one of the studies that said that women receive more personality based feedback than men, whereas men yep. get feedback on their achievements, women get it on their personality. And I have felt that so deeply in my core where people have told me like, you're too direct, you're too honest, you're too aggressive. And I'm like, where, where do you see all of that? Like, help me understand what that has anything to do with the fact that I finished this project amazingly on time within budget, like way above anyone's expectations. And so I do feel like when I read a lot of the things you put out there, it honestly, like, it does make me feel seen because I feel invisible sometimes where I'm like, I must be imagining this. Now imagine I'm also doing this work for all of my employees and so I have this perspective and this like belief. And then I also want to protect my employees from feeling the same way I feel. It's very fascinating. I also think you were one of the earliest people out there to be writing about when the AI boom was happening earlier this year and the year before everyone was like, AI, AI, it's going to help performance management so much. And I think I pointed to an article you wrote where I was like, no, 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 like, <laughs> yeah, you can't use AI to write performance management feedback. It ends up being just biased because think about what trained this AI. Well, it's it's fascinating. I I'll take a counterpoint. I think okay. AI has the potential to actually do better than people have done. People have done very badly in terms of biases. But if yeah. you're not designing to mitigate biases from the very beginning, you will just perpetuate what people have done in the workplace for decades and decades. You know, when we yeah. um, when we built out. Textio Lift, which is the uh, performance feedback uh, oriented product that we have, we specifically in places where the product relies on AI will show you whether content is verified by Textio from a bias standpoint or not. Because if you aren't actually looking intentionally with knowledge to spot bias and what's been written, you will just perpetuate what's been there. I think my, my favorite of, of the uh, chat GPT data is when you compare feedback that is written um, for somebody who went to Harvard University compared mm-hmm. to somebody who went to Howard University, a prominent uh, HBCU. HBCU. Um, the Harvard alums are more likely to be described as um you know, their, their development areas are, you should step in to lead more, where the Howard alums get things like not technical enough or missing attention to detail. So if you're not watching for that at the level of implementation, you will just perpetuate what's been out there before. Yeah, Ooh, that's such a good tip. I think a lot of people are trying to figure out how to leverage AI within HR. And I, 
I feel like there's going to be, we're going to learn a lot in the next few years. I feel like we already have had a year of like people trying to demystify what to do with AI and HR. And the first place that people want to talk about it is when it comes to feedback. And so I do love the idea that like you can use AI, but it needs to be able to spot what it is you're writing and help you understand where that bias is coming into play. Exactly. Um,